There being eight ayes, five nays, and zero present not voting, the motion for vote. These are cries of validation, not a single sigh of relief. We're not done. We're not, done. We're not, done. We're not, done. not one tear of joy. They weep because something happened in a committee after the worst thing happened at school. One year ago today, my daughter had a communion. About a month later, she was buried in that same dress. Jacqueline Cazares died in Uvalde with 18 classmates and two teachers. Her mom and dad are now activists, rallying beside strangers bonded by collective grief. There is no safe place in America anymore. They found allies in Texas Democrats. After every mass shooting, it's always some other thing. It's always some other nonsense. No, Greg Abbott, it's guns. Monday, they turned up the pressure on Republicans after another mass shooting in Allen. A thought and a prayer is to find the inspiration and have the guts and have the faith to not be afraid. The pressure was felt. In a surprise vote, a House committee approved a bill to raise the age to purchase an AR-15 to 21. Uvalde families think Allen is the likely reason two Republicans voted yes. It's sad to say if it didn't happen, it would probably would have been a different spot right now. The Senate took no action on guns. Republican Angela Paxton represents Allen. And we need prayer, and I would ask for your prayers. There's meaning in it, and not just the encouraging feeling that we get when we know people are praying. State Representative Justin Holland is from Rockwall. He is one of the two Republicans who voted yes on that bill to raise the age. Tonight, he defended that vote in a statement, saying he believes it lessens the possibility of that weapon being misused while, quote, not undermining the fundamental right to keep and bear arms. Now, that bill only moved from one committee to another, and most members of the legislature do not believe it has much of a future beyond what happens today, especially not before Thursday. That is the deadline for committees in the House to move bills out onto the floor.